as their bulldog. It's really impressive. Top rune spot though. Uh oh, Lotus gonna get caught. The ice shards. However, will not stop them from going even further back into his side of the river. However, the cast will bounce through. There's going to be the avalanche coming out. They get the nether blast off. Can they get FNG? Last right click. S4 will get the first blood. He's got a dark troll with the ensnare and the saving torment with the shockwave. They're going to come through avalanche. Toss is about to fly. They get the ensnare up as well. This should be a pretty easy kill. G about to just try to get away, but he can't do it. He's too low. And Ake will prayer though. They get it somehow. S4. That's damage from spin just gets it. Now it's force on the lock. Oh, he's getting ganked. G is gonna come through. There's gonna be the ensnare. He's gonna get tossed back. That will be the kill. And so he gets the courier. But game the bottom one. Yeah. Left bulldog actually. Oh, look at me. Go down. He's level three. He's only got level two heal. There's gonna be soul suction. Right click will fly. He's tanky. Meanwhile, Global just died at the tower as EGM was going to work with actually ahead of experience for S4 somehow. They're looking to... Oh, train. Yeah, here it comes. Loda and everybody is ready to go. The call will fly. G might have stayed a little too long, but the rest of his team is coming as well. We're going to see a huge team fight. G in trouble. Nether Blast will fly. The Ensnare comes out. They decrypt him as well. He's low. They finally get off the life drain on top of that. And he somehow barely survives for like a minute, it feels like. And FNG has been caught out as well. He came at the wrong time. He's going to run behind the tower. They're going to try to converge on him and stop him from getting there. He drops up the frozen sigil. Loda's going to come in with another decrypt to slow him down. They have Avalanche toss. Gets off the snowball. There's going to be the toss coming through. Avalanche is not going to be needed as the Nether Blast goes in after the decrypt. So, well, now Loda's fine. Maybe Ice Shards come out. Decrypt goes through. Life Drain as well. Look at that damage. And DK Bob is like, I have to get it. Oh, what a toss. Oh, my lord. Sensor Conqueror stop goes after the toss. The Avalanche, the cast. Uh, this is very cheeky, see? They've got some good right click. They have S4 with tower. And speaking of field, the point dagger, the effigy is deleted from the game. Top tier 2 tower, but Virtus from tier 3 is about to fall. All right, give the void on the S4. Calls up into the base, but EGM is not going to be good. The darkness popped as well. Their are in trouble. But here, they even get off. But they all back away. And now they're going to kill the effigy again. He's going down. He's so low. A lot of minutes. And they're being successful up and get ready to go again. They don't have the mana for, for another 10. Although they still have all these chain creeper axes are very low. They're about to the lines. Might decide to back. They still have the rock though. That's why. Rock yeah, We can't. About to drop it. But he gets the call off. Up and they still haven't taken down bullet. Tossed up. Oh, Max is gone. And S4. And they've gotten everything to work fly. They haven't sent him back. Tossed back. And they actually get the again. Just causing. Virtus Pro have only gotten. That's all they might get there here. But another quick hit. Everybody's low. Silent gets to be next. The right click from the goal. We'll get a double kill. G There's another plus. Loda picks up a double. here his own tier three tower alliance are looking to finish this game off and proceed to move on even further as first in his group there's a life drain coming out look at the damage it does to the bear he's got a, for me, GM, too. He's close to the radiance but look how like he's the only one up in net worth everyone else is behind Dyer's chen is the is lo the lowest on the line that he's still ahead of everybody with the exception of two people on virtus bro that's how you know you're having a great game. They have a 12,000 net worth advantage, which is about to be more as they take the tier 2 tower down. S4 jumps and toss avalanche combo. Gets the wicked 6 free onto Lil. They'll keep going on this tower. They have the golem up ready as well. He's got his net for two. He's about to use it. He'll pop it up, and this poison's going to go even faster. The radiance is done, but they I don't know if they can really find anything off this radiance, Grant. Yeah, they are... Lost two racks is already... Minutes. They're about to lose a second by 15, and Ace oh. just doesn't do enough, especially that bear dies really quick. If it's yeah, they have to come in. There's going to be the avalanche going again, the toss. They won't get the combo off. They'll do a lot of damage to FG. The cast will fly through as well. The death ward comes out. 
They'll find the kill. They get the Savage Roar away, but the melee racks about to fall. Two more right groups to do the job. The Nether Blast instead will be the one to pick it up. The mode will back up now. No, they won't. S4 keeps going. There's the solo substance. They even have Minus Armor on it, but they just can't bring it down. The call will miss. Egypt is the one that's going to get brought in. They get off the familiar sons. S4 will take up the solo substance. He's got the Aegis. Avalanche will go. It will miss, but it does the job of zoning everybody out. And his second racks is now gone, and BP are hanging out by a thread. I mean, hopefully they don't do it under an observer warden. Nope, they were just having bulldogs up top, so they might feel safe in their jungle here with just... They're just gonna get thrashed. Yeah, Alliance is gonna roll right in that great vision. They're gonna find Lil and just bring him down almost instantly. Toss Adelaide on the two! Beautifully done, the death portal ball, the nether blast gets loaded, a double kill. That was a stylish play coming up from a lot. I don't know, man. Jeez, got a ogre club at the very least now, but he cannot really do much. S4 now with the hyperstone still has that Aegis to toss onto the tower. It's getting taken down pretty quickly. The bear's trying to push this up with the familiar. If the Chen creeps are going to town, they get off the veil. The snowball all the way in. Effigy has been caught out. He is looking for a blanket as well. But here comes the gold, the upheaval, the nether blast, the life drain, and everything going on to those two heroes. They've already lost three. Bulldog will get a double kill. It looks like the GG will be called an alliance. We've said it before, we'll say it again. They're back. They, they are more than back there. They, they're looking like the top team right now. They, they've even looked a little better than the EG Secret, top Chinese. Yeah, they're so damn good. And this is a mode that you, you expect to lose once in a while. You expect to just not have a good draft because there's not that many heroes.